What's up, guys? Holy cow, what's happening? We're back. We're back in Battle City. Oh, I'm so excited for this. All right, so for those of you that don't know, yesterday a new speed duel set was announced. People are starting to worry because the timeline that we've had in the past has been that we kind of hear something by now, and we were starting to get nervous because we got Duels to Shadows coming out in like two weeks at the time of this video. We're going to be very excited to enjoy that. That's another 228 card box that come from the GX era. A lot of people are excited about that, and we're going to enjoy that. But they just announced we're going back to Battle City. So the next Speed Duel box is going to come out late August, August 25th in the U.S., another $30 box. So a couple takeaways here. It's called Streets of Battle City, which is funny because I'm thinking of the Magic set that came out last year, the Streets of... Uh, Capenna. Um, so a couple of takeaways here. First thing, it seems like they're moving away from the mini box, which, you know, that's kind of confusing. So I get, you know, I like that they're doing like the $30 big boy box. You know, Battle City was great. Duelist Academy could have sold better. But then the big, the little box was kind of confusing. I don't like that. Get that away. Let's do the big boy boxes here. So we got another Streets of Battle City and obviously Duelist to Shadows, which is coming out in a couple weeks, is also big boy box. Um, so also another takeaway is that I guess we... We had these, I guess we made up this rule in our head that, all right, you know, the Yugi, Kaiba, Joey, that era is over. We're going to GX, and then eventually we're going to go to 5Ds, and then we're going to see Synchros, and then we're going to see CXEs, and we're going to see all this other garbage. Um, but turns out we can just go backwards, so that's awesome. I, I mean, I'm on board with that. Are you guys on board with that? Can we just... I mean, GX is cool. It wasn't necessarily my bag, and obviously we're going to enjoy the new product that's coming out, but I love, you know, Duelist Kingdom. It's going to be awesome. So coming back to Battle City uh, makes me excited because there's going to be a lot more nostalgic value for me and I think for a lot of other folks. Um, and it seems like Konami's doing a good job towing the line between GX and, uh, and Duelist Kingdom Battle City so that uh, everyone's happy. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, what else is going on? Let's talk about the box itself, I guess. So, Yugi, Joey, Kaiba, we're going to see some more cards like that. Let's see, they Dark Magician Girl we know, Flame Swordsman, it's going to have eight secret rares. Uh, two of the secret rares will always be Slifer and Arcana's Dark Magician, which is cool. And also, Arcana is going to be on the two-player game mat. So, it looks like they're kind of leaning on him a little more. Um, as opposed to Battle City, he was just kind of like a character with like one skill. But now we're gonna we're gonna see a little bit more. Also, um, we're seeing Seeker the Rare Hunter and Strings of Quiet Ones. So Seeker means Exodia, because Seeker played Exodia in the show. I imagine we're gonna see those pieces. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that works. We have a couple cards that work um, that can kind of help that deck, but it's no. I mean, it's gonna be like one of those. It's like Goat. Remember, you ever tried to play Exodia and Goat? It's awful. You have to like actually draw them. No, no. So. We'll, we'll see, though. I'm excited. You know, I'd definitely try Exodia out. And then Strings the Quiet one is, like, fiends and stuff and, like, slimes. So that'll be cool. And Arcana, hopefully they do more kind of magician stuff. I don't think we've seen, like, viable magician decks that have been, like, top five in years and years and years. Like, since before we went to the box stage, right? So I'm excited. We got some some cards, uh, some new characters there with skills. Mako's coming back. Weevil. Um, got PTSD from Weevil. We'll see what comes out from him. And Espa Robo, which is the Jinzo guy. So we'll see what uh, what else comes, if there's any Jinzo support, anything like that. The box is going to be same thing like Battle City. It's going to come with eight pre-constructed decks. Obviously, they had Lightning in a Bottle with Battle City box. I think they're trying to recreate that, especially since Duelist Kingdom and the mini box that I already forgot the name of didn't sell too well. I'm assuming Duelist of Shadows will sell well. It's kind of a cool, edgy theme. So hopefully that sells pretty well. But then I think they're going to try and go back to what worked in 2020. The, those boxes flew off the shelves. People have a hard time getting a hold of them. Um, I think this is going to have quite a few reprints too. So if you can't get your hands on a Battle City box or it's like $100, you're not out of luck from a physical standpoint because it looks like there's going to be a lot of reprints in this one also. So yeah, that's coming out late August. Uh, anything I missed? No, that's it. That's about it. That's all the information we have right now. Um, like I said, this came out yesterday, this information. So uh, I think we've kept on with the timeline pretty consistently where we're seeing like stuff in the spring and then stuff in the fall because I think the Duelist Kingdom last year was around this time frame. I'm sorry, Duelist Kingdom. Um, Duel Academy was uh, around this time frame last year and then we had the mini box, Paradox, whatever, come out at the end of the year and so now we're doing the same thing. Um, so this is telling me, I mean, now that I know that we can go backwards at, we can. I don't no idea what they're gonna do next. We could do whatever we want. They might go back to Pegasus. I don't know. Might as well. Uh, people will buy it. People will like it. They could jump back to DX, to GX and then go back to. I don't. I don't know. 
they could go to a big four or whatever. The, you know, there's so many different ways and things to explore. Um, and they can just keep reprinting shit. You're going to see this start to happen. Um, it's, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing if there's like products that are like hard to obtain. Like I'm pretty sure like Nightmare Wheel and uh, Zoma is coming back in this box, which is like, good luck getting your hands on Twisted Nightmares. They're like 30 bucks now up from 10 retail, right? So I, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, but we're going to be on a slippery slope really quick. We're going to start seeing a lot of reprints in new boxes if they keep doing this for years and it's going it, to, it could potentially get annoying. So as long as they give us just the right amount of new stuff, that's going to be like meta defining or at least shake it up then I think that uh, this game is going to be healthy for, for a while to come. So, okay, I think that I covered everything. It was a little ranty, uh, but thanks for watching, guys. I'm excited that there's more Speedwheel product coming. Um, obviously, tournaments that I'm hosting will still continue. We're excited for new products in a couple weeks, and we'll go from there. All right, have a good one, guys. See ya.